perfect. Well, we're going to start off uh, with an easy question, and then we'll go to some uh, some of our media questions. So, uh, Andrew, you got to play a game against SIU, obviously in the fall. What are you looking forward most to about playing uh, with Southeast Missouri in the uh, the spring season here? Um, you know, I mean, I think Coach talked a lot about it. We've been practicing for so long that I think everybody's just excited to play, and so having worked with the guys, you know, as long as I have now. Um, I'm just excited to get into action with them again. I know SIU is um, kind of a weird one game type of fall season. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to get back to work with everybody. We've been, we've been practicing for so long that I'm just ready to be playing ball. Perfect. And we'll go to some media questions here again. If you have a question, let me know in the chat. We'll start with uh, Tom Davis. You're up first. Hey, Andrew, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, I got a question. Uh, you've been a part of several college programs throughout your journey now. Um, you've been at SEMO for, I don't know how long you've been on campus uh, because of this weird year, but what's your impressions of the SEMO football program? What do you like about it? What are its strengths? I think one of the things I really like about it is uh, how connected the players are to each other and, and with the coaches, you know. Um, I think that makes a huge difference having those relationships with your coaches and being able to trust them and, uh, you know, them trust you. Um, and so that that's one thing that I've really loved about it is that I've developed relationships with all the coaches on the staff in a really short amount of time um, and really good, genuine relationships with them. You feel like you have a pretty good grasp of the offense because I know the amount of time you've been able to spend with the coaches has kind of been herky and jerky and, you know, you guys are on then you're off and all that. Do you, do you feel going into February and as we get through training camp, you've got a good grasp of things? Yeah. I mean, there was going to be a, a little learning curve, learning a new offense for, for me just naturally. But um, you know, I, I really, really dove into the playbook when I first got here and, and was working hard with McDowell to get that, tuned up so I feel really good about it um, you know and, and I'm excited just just the way we've been practicing so far I think um, we've improved since you guys have seen us you know just earlier in the year and so um, I feel really good about it what did, what did you learn from that one game um, you know I, there were some things that I, I wanted to do better personally you know um, I didn't think I really played that well in that game and and um, you know, I'm not going to like sit around and sulk about or anything, but I, it was beneficial to look at the film and see what I needed to change. And so, um, you know, I, I, I checked that out. I feel good about that going into this this next spring season. And, and um, it was just good to get get into some real game time with the guys, you know, and see how guys play come game day, who shows up. And, um, you know, some guys are gamers and they're just different when they hit the field on game day. So it was, I think it was just really good to do that. Okay, last question for me. Is it weird to be working out to be practicing in January and February? And, and I mean, is your body clock a little bit off or do, are you just excited to be on a football field? Yeah, I mean, it's probably a little of both. It does feel weird to be practicing right now, but um, at the end of the day, we're so excited to be practicing again. And, uh, you know, the season's right around the corner that I, I don't think anybody really cares at this point. We're just ready to play. Okay, thanks for your time. Thanks. Next up, uh, Craig Haley from Stats. Hey, Andrew, thank you for the time. Kind of piggybacking off that last question, what does feel similar and what feels different right now about heading towards the spring season? I mean, the, it feels similar in that it just feels like a, like a regular camp, you know. Um, and so, you know, the, the days kind of blend together during camp. It's so much football, so much meetings. And, the, and that type of thing that, you know, really camp is camp. It doesn't matter what time of the year you're going to do it. And so that feels similar. It's different because instead of it being really hot, it's a little colder. Um, but other than that, you know, it's football camp. Sure. Thank you. We got about three more minutes for questions for Andrew. If anybody has one, let me know uh, in the chat and we will, uh, we will call on you. Uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, Andrew Todd Richards here. Good to see you. Uh, how excited uh, are you just at the potential of this team from which you were able to accomplish on a short-term basis against SIU? Yeah, I mean, I think 
I think the one thing is there's just so much potential, like untapped potential with a lot of the guys on our team. We, you know, there's guys that against SIU that really, you know, we didn't we didn't get a chance to get the ball much to. And um, we have a lot of freaks running around at wide receiver and, and a lot of really great athletes here that um, maybe didn't show up the same way that they're going to later in the season this year. So, um, you know, I'm just excited to get the ball to those guys and really, you know, open up the offense a little more. And what was your biggest takeaway? What you could you feel like you could kind of work on when you left that game? Uh, what is the, your biggest area that you're working on now? Um, yeah, there was just a couple of plays that I think I just didn't make, like take care of the ball, you know, and that's disappointing. But um, like I said, I, I looked over the film. Um, I'm going to learn from it, and then I'm not going to spend a bunch of time, you know, sulking about it. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make mistakes every once in a while, and that's just part of the game. So. Um, you know, I want to take care of the ball a little bit better and give us a better chance. And and as far as the, the attitude of this team and what's been built here at SEMO, of course, you joining this, how optimistic are you guys heading into the season? I think we're really optimistic. Um, you know, like I said, everybody's just super excited to be playing football again. The energy is great in the building, and, uh, you know, we can't wait to we can't wait to start playing. All right, thank you. Thanks. Thank you.